Hello everyone and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today we are going to be taking Maxi's Crown Victoria mod around the famous by fail race driven till destruction uh, map. Now this map has a bunch of different bumps, water hazards, uh, like jumps, uh, it's got some spinning wheels of death over there that we got to try to navigate through. Which can be, or which can become problematic when you lose steering. So that's going to be interesting. There's two decent sized jumps that we got to try to do. So if you haven't ever seen Fail Race's series, um, he, he focused more on like the native BMG cars. I don't think he did very many like custom modded cars. So that's what we're going to do. Now the Crown Vic is iconically a tank to most people and I want to see just how well we are not just going to be taking this Crown Vic which is a P71 police package just minus the lighting setup it's dressed up like mine in real life but actually this one runs I'm like mine in real life right now but it's a different topic for a different time um, we'll be taking this one out along with the I have an off-road spec one which has like a turbo diesel and it's got dualies and stuff so we're gonna be taking that one around and we also are going to be taking the drag Vic around, which is the like thousand horsepower, 200 mile, plus mile an hour monster. Actually not 200 plus mile an hour. It literally tops out at 200. But what we're going to do, as you can see, we got a distance timer here. We're going to reset that and we're going to see which of these will go the furthest. Now the P71 package is known for being tough and being able to take curb hits at 40 plus mile an hour steelies that can do the same now I don't have the steelies on this but that'll be interesting to see if there's a difference in that how the tires work I don't think there will be but that's enough rambling we're gonna get out here and we're gonna see how it does now this one does have a five-speed manual just because the four-speed automatic this is the one if you last watched the previous like taking the VIX around the racetracks I gotta remember we gotta go flat out they have to be driven as hard as possible. We're doing fail race rules. Now I want to just, this has the Marauder engine and, but everything else is fairly stock. That was not good on her. And there's that water hazard, which has a bunch of rocks that likes to uh, grab wheels and snap them. These little things can cause problems once the suspension collapses. We're just drifting this Vic around. <laughs> which is awesome now why am i doing this because i can i was bored and i figured why not do this oh that was rough now here are the spinning wheels of death which are gonna be problematic because this is a boat and turning radius is not great stock with good suspension but after a lap or two of this it could be worse. Now, if the car does flip, we can use the no grabbers to uh, grab it, flip it, attempt to flip it back over. Danger with that is, is, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're back on our wheels, but that is not good. That was not good on it whatsoever. Yeah, so danger of using the note grabber to like get parts so it might get stuck. Pumpers could get stuck under the wheels, which can cause all kinds of chaos. So yeah, right now we got the front bumper. Oh, there goes the front bumper. So that we don't have to worry about that anymore. Beam's camera is being Beam's camera. This is just awesome. Also, the five-speed manual just makes this thing drive a hundred times better than the four-speed automatic. So far, we haven't lost a radiator or anything like that yet. That's usually can become problematic. Ooh, that was a hard hit. So that's lap one. So we've done one lap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, radiator's leaking. Okay, that's not good. So now we got to really watch revving it because that radiator. Okay, we steering's a little messed up. I think we've collapsed our front, yep, front passenger side front suspension's collapsed. That's not good. Okay, we did lose the rear bumper finally. 
Gotta get it in the right gear. Oh, we are smoking. And that temp gauge is already climbing. So overheating seems to be a pretty common way that cars go out around this course. And so does it losing front wheels. Also, since this is a rear wheel drive car, we have to watch drive shaft. Okay, yeah, steering's not great. Steering's pulling to the left. Like, I'm not touching the steering, and we're going left around that. So, yeah, the left front wheel is, I think, bent. Yeah, definitely bent. Or maybe it's the rear. It might be the rear wheel. Oh, this is going to hurt bad. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, that front end's not looking great. Oh, we, we bent the entire frame. I, oh, look at that rear end. But we're still moving somehow. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we might, we might be in trouble here. This just got incredibly hard to drive now. Oh, this is not good. I gotta watch revving it because I don't want to overheat it any more than I already or it already is. Yeah, temp it's getting up there. Oh, that front left wheel is completely broken. I'm full lock. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we got a node grabber piece of the frame. Gotta increase the strength a little bit. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Helps if you grab it in a good point oh my god i'm not even turning in that driver's side front wheel it's just completely locked to the right that is oh my god <laughs> that's not great oh this is not good whatsoever oh my god that I don't know which is more sad to see the front wheel or the back wheel look at the camber on that back wheel well we're on lap three and maybe we just it she flipped again all right come on node grabber flip her over all right the more it's upside down the more the engine start to boil which is not good we are overheating the temp gauge is pegged Oh, come on. Don't flip. Okay, we're good. I think. Oh, nope. We now, now we left turns are a problem because front tire is locked to the right. Yeah, engine torque. Uh, piston rings are damaged. I think we're... The engine's about dead. The engine is almost dead. I gotta watch revving it. Oh, yeah. She is not happy. Big girl is not happy. Yep, and engine seized. Yep, engine is completely dead. Yep, engine is completely dead. So we made it four miles, so about three and a eighth, I think, not even an eighth lap. Oh, poor Vic. Honestly, it did fairly good. So that is that back wheel. Look at that. That just makes me sad. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get I think we'll do the off-road Vic next and we'll save the drag Vic for last. So give me a minute to get that all configured and we'll be good to go. All right, so here we have the off-road spec Vic, which is ridiculous. The front suspension is lowered on it, which is kind of interesting. And then we got those big dually rims. Um, it has a 4.5 liter turbo diesel V8. So that's gonna be interesting to see. We do have a roll cage. Now this is a custom one I did for a video a while back that turned out to fail, but it's the basic like off-road Vic and that it has. It just has a couple, like I did a couple cosmetic changes. Like I put the bumper back on it and everything. But other than that, I'm pretty sure it's the same. So we're going to go ahead, reset our distance. So four miles is what we have to beat. 
We're going to be shifting a lot more with this. Turning is actually surprisingly sharp with the dual back wheels. Okay. I think we already bent, maybe bent the rear axle. No, we're okay right now. We're okay for now. We've lost a mirror. That's about it. Now this one is, oh, I don't know how we lost the taillight, but we did. This one's an understeers, which makes sense with the having dually back wheels on a car that is not designed to have duallys. It also doesn't seem to have ABS, which is kind of weird. But I think the suspension might be a little softer than the last one. Ooh, crap. That was close. All right. We'll get a good feel for the suspension on this jump here. Which we want a good entrance to. There we go. Oh, that was good on the front end. We lost the hubcap. <laughs> we didn't damage the radiator, radiator or anything yet, so that's good. This one, I think, is handling... It, it's handling the off-road section, I think, better than what the stock one did. This is going to hurt. Okay, yeah, that was good on it. I think, do we collapse the front suspension? I, yeah, that front suspension is collapsed. Either that or we've bent the front frame so far up that, oh. Yeah, no, that front suspension's collapsed and I think the frame's bent in the front, which makes sense with that last, or that last landing, which is pretty much on the nose, like dead center on the nose. That's definitely frame. I think we've lost the entire front suspension now. Oh, yeah. Now, with the dualies, we have to watch because that might become problematic if we roll. If, we, if that grabs into the ground, it might rip the entire rear axle off. I don't know what to expect from that. I think the axle moved on that. The rear axle might have moved on that one. I couldn't tell. But so far, it's steering's okay for now. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that front suspension collapsed and we just drove the entire body of the car into one of these. Oh, we're still moving somehow. Don't ask me how. And the steering's still somewhat okay. I think with that front wheel, passenger front wheel might be locked up. I'm forgetting the shift because I'm distracted by Yeah, no, that front wheel is not happy. I have a feeling we're going to lose that front wheel. Oh, this might be problematic. Okay. That was good. I don't know how we did that, but we did. I think we're going to lose the rear bumper. Now, this jump might... I have a feeling we're definitely going to roll on this jump. But... Mm, oh, we, okay. Front axle's gone. We did lose a tire. Okay, this first time we've lost a tire, which is going to make steering next to impossible. That's going to slow us down greatly. I don't know how we're driving with that because we're pretty much dragging the frame or the body of the car across the ground over here on the right or passenger side. This is going to hurt bad. Ugh. Oh, okay. Don't get stuck in the mud. That's exactly what we don't want to do. Yeah, the steering is not good. We're still driving. I don't know how. But we are. Oh, that sounded awesome. And by that, I, that was a sarcastic statement. <laughs> that sounded awful. Oh, there's just no front suspension left whatsoever. And we're losing that wheel. We're just dragging 
that entire front end just all across the ground. Yeah, we're pulling hard, so if we lose, I have a feeling we're going to lose this driver's side front wheel. Turning is hard. Oh, uh oh. I think she's done. I'm going to node grab her it out. That's a taillight. That's the trunk. Let me grab. That's the bumper. There's the frame. Come on. Come on. Dude, come on. Game. Come on. I guess I could have zoomed out the camera. That probably would have helped. Okay. Is it still drivable? It is. It just... It's not happy. Oh, that sounds awful. Nope. We're done. Yep. That entire front suspension just collapsed completely. And we are... I don't even know how that's happened. <laughs> how has that happened? Oh, yep. She done. So we made it. I think this is the beginning of lap three. Yeah, this is the beginning of lap three. So it did slightly worse than the stock one. It did better than I was expecting. I w was like convinced that the dually rear axle was going to be more problematic than what it actually is. Actually, that held up the best. So I think we need duallys on the front and that'll solve the problem if we use that logic. <laughs> All right, now the one that everyone I'm sure has been waiting for, the Drag Vic. All right, now for the one that I'm sure all of you have been waiting for. <laughs> this is the Drag Vic, which is capable of 200 plus mile an hour in a straight line. I don't think it's gonna turn very well stock and I don't think it's gonna uh, have a very soft suspension. So we'll, we'll see, I mean, the off-road Vic kind of surprised me, so we'll see if this one does the same thing. It is an automatic transmission, so we don't have to worry about shifting. Oh my god. Yeah, turning's not, like, a thing whatsoever. So this is gonna be great. That suspension also has little to no give. Oh, that's great on it. Okay, the front bumper is stuck underneath the car. We don't have ABS, so I gotta remember that. I can definitely feel that we don't have ABS. Also, the little ABS indicator on the gauge cluster is not going off when I'm braking. Oh, the steering with these tiny wheels is not great. This is insane. <laughs> Oh, we've already rolled her, but whoop, we landed on the wheels, so that's good. Now, with this thing having no steering, this is going to be great. Oh, okay. We're good. I don't know how we survived that, but we did. Now, we're going flat out over this jump just for the hell of it. Okay, that actually was not as bad as I was fearing it was going to be. We're going to have to reverse the spin around properly. Oh, come on. There we go. Beam's camera takes a minute to get used to. I'm so used to GTA camera that I get messed up. But... We're good right now. Dragvik is doing surprisingly well as we just grip roll it in the mud. And okay, she's flipped, so we gotta we gotta flip her back over frame. Make sure it's on the frame. There we go. All right. Oh my god, it just has so much power. It's impossible to control. I'm going to laugh if this lasts longer than the other two. 
Because in theory, on paper, it should not be doing this well. I was already, I was expecting those tiny front wheels to snap by now. Radiator's leaking. Oh, okay. With this amount of power. Okay, come on. Forgetting about no ABS. I think the suspension is collapsed. Yep. Just knocked it against the bottom of the frame there. Okay, the front header panel is disconnected from the car and just kind of floating there, I think. I don't know how that's working, but it's doing some weirdness. Oh, we did the same thing we did with the Dragvik. It, ju it hits on that corner and it just... Oh, that's not good. The coolant's overheating. I don't think we... I think steering might be done. No? Okay, we're still going. Kinda. I I think we're done. Because the engine's already overheating. I I'm gonna call it, because we haven't we cannot go in a straight line. I'm I mean we'll limp it. I mean the engine's gonna blow within the next few seconds here just with how much power it's producing and how high it's revving. All right, let's see, can we go through these? Nope, engine's dead. Oh, can we roll it into the, is it gonna roll into the things? Nope, it's gonna stop just before. <sighs> well, I was hoping the drag Vic was gonna do better than all of them, but it didn't, and that makes me sad. <laughs> so what did we learn today? Mm, not, I'm honestly not sure. This is more of, I wonder what'll happen if I do this. <laughs> so, yeah, but just to tell you how good this custom car and, you know, being a real life car and still having all of these crash physics and it, being able to dismantle like it does, that's just awesome. Maxi did an awesome job with this vehicle. And they keep updating it too, which is nice. So, all right. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Link for the Crown Vic mod will be down in the description below. If the link doesn't work in the future, you'll just have to Google it. It'll pop up. It's on the BeamNG Drive forms. So the normal Vic did it four miles, so it is our winner, the P71 spec with the five-speed manual. But I guess everything suspension-wise was P71. The normal off-road Vic did 3.6 miles, and this did 2.8 miles. So... There you go. There's the results of our very, very, very scientific test. This will be studied by scientists for years in the future, I'm sure. So let me know in the description if you like this series. I think I'm going to go ahead and after I'm done with this, record one using the, uh, or doing the Mustang mod. So be on the lookout for that video. But until next time, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and hit the bell icon and all that jazz. And with that, I will see you on the next one. Take care.